Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley. So first of all, I'd like to say that I received a comment saying that the reason why there's no monsters on the farm is because there's apparently a patch a couple days ago, I think it was a couple days ago they said, where it fixed a bug to where when you switched farms, when you were choosing your stuff, it would uncheck the box. So that's why. I'm not going to start over for it, it's just monsters on the farm, I've played the wilderness farm, I know what it is, it just has monsters appear every night, it's not that interesting, it's, it, makes it, it makes it more of a challenge, but that's it. Anyways, let's begin. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment, and now, this weather forecast for tomorrow. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow, no rain again. I sense that a new viewer has joined us, a young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are very happy today. They'll do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. That's good. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. It's salmonberry season. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with juicy berries, and they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. Actually, you don't want to sell them. You want to use them for stamina. Anyways, we got some green beans growing. I'll get that in a sec. This is Evelyn. Hello, dear. I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out. So plan ahead. I'm not good at doing a grandma voice, obviously, because I'm not a grandma, but... You know, you gotta have that as a, as a title to be able to do a good grandma voice. Anyways, enough nonsense. Let's go ahead and put this up and this up. And we'll grab this. I'm gonna do some fishing today. Actually, no, I'm gonna go get some more copper today. But first, we need to water our plants. So you know the drill. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And I already picked the green beans. First, let's water Princely. We already picked them. Got four normal and one silver quality, so we can sell the silver quality. And we can keep the normal. Which, we just need a cauliflower now. Alright, I'm gonna put this up. Oh, I need to bring those to Clint. We can also bring those bars. I gotta bring him one of these. He only wants to see one at a time. You only need to really bring one, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. And the thing I want to upgrade first is gonna be the axe. So let's go ahead and head into town. We'll pick all the berry bushes we can, because it makes great stamina. Grab all this stuff. Also, you can go over here. And sometimes there's berry bushes over here, too. You can also go in here, but right now there's nothing we can do in here, so. It'll be something later on in midwinter, I think. Or I think when we unlock the desert. I don't know. Anyways, we'll head into town, see if there's any new quests, turn the one in for Clint, and then we'll give Clint the axe to upgrade to bronze. Or copper, not bronze. There is a new quest, so that's good. Any birthdays? The next one is Pam, and I know exactly what to get her. Trying to keep the artificial alive, I'll pay... Okay. Trying to keep the artificial alive, I'll pay 120 gold to any fisherman who catches three sardines. Good luck, Willie. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, to get this stuff out of my inventory though, I'm gonna sell it. So I don't have to go all the way back home. Ooh, that's good for- that's gonna be good for the mines. Always good to pick the berries. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, that one almost went in the water. 25 energy, so that's a really good amount of energy, especially when you only have 270. So, for now, we're gonna eat this, though. Oh, 
No, I don't want to eat the daffodil. And we just go in here. We go to the copper thing. You brought the ores I requested, thank you. These ores look to be good quality. You can keep them, of course. I just wanted to see how local geology is doing. And here's your payment as promised. Thank you for the money. Do you, do you like copper ore? This makes me depressed. Never mind, okay. He does not like it. Upgrade tools. Oh yeah, the trash can. This just gives you money for things you destroy in your trash can. And that's that. I'll upgrade that some other time for now. Oh, oh, we need 2,000 gold. Never mind. All right, well, we'll head straight into the... Mo uh, we're going back home. I forgot my femur. Can't hunt anything without a femur. And we'll also get a gift from Maru. I was gonna go sell these, but we're heading home. I can just put them in the bin. And then we'll head for the mines to get some more copper, since today is a lucky day, so... Well, good day. I don't think it's a lucky day. I think it just means it's gonna, you know, yep. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe so. I think it does mean you have better luck that day. All right. Where's my femur? All right, we're ready to go into the mines. And on our way, we'll pick all the berries. So I did decide when that cave opened, when I get the thing for the cave, I am going, oh, I almost went past these. I was too busy talking, sorry. I am going to pick the mushroom cave. I picked the bat cave on my last playthrough and while the bats were great, I barely got anything. And I think that's because fruit are, fruit can be very valuable depending on what you do with it. So it was, you know, a rare thing. I'm going to pick mushrooms. Because I for sure know you get mushrooms every other day or something like that. So it sounds worth it, you know? I forgot to get Maru's gift. Oh well. It's only Monday. We got four or five more days left. We're not going to be able to get much done in the mines, though. Doing all this other stuff beforehand. But that's fine. Last time we got chased out by a bunch of bugs. This time I hope, hopefully we'll make it to another floor. We'll try to make it to floor 15. But I'm more interested in getting stuff and progress, progression towards other things than I am the mines, because the mines I can do any time. even bother with you. Any digs? Nope, none of those guys. Okay. Well, we'll search for this ladder. And I believe the ore or the coal doesn't respond and since I already got it, I don't think I'll be getting any more. Yep. I don't think you can I don't think it responds, so. I'll take that quartz. And there's the way down when we need it. I was, I was up here with the mouse cursor. I don't know why I attacked that way. That's the only thing I think right now that needs fixed. That's been in the game forever. If your mouse is over here, your guys shouldn't be attacking that way. I get you should turn around yourself, maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just need to learn to turn around. So yeah, it's my own fault. I'm not blaming the game. This is like one of the only games I consider to be perfect. I need to remember to stay near stuff until I pick it up because I don't have the 
attraction ring or whatever it's called. Any diggers? Nope. I'm gonna go one more floor and then head out. Ooh, a rusty cog. We can turn that into Gunther. Uh, another rusty cog, okay. So yeah, it is the direction you're you're facing at the time, so you do have to move yourself. Okay, I get it. I'm gonna do this since I'm only going one more floor. I wanna see if I can find any of those dwarf scrolls, which would be nice to get. Did not do that last playthrough. I don't think I've ever found all the dwarf scrolls. So finding them this time will be worth it. I am gonna mine these, the big rock right here. Cave carrot, nice. Um, I'll eat this. Um, and I'll eat this now. Tons of cave carrots, which is fine. They're a good energy source. And you'll need one for a quest later on, so... It's all good. And this is where the salmon berry... Salmon berries come in handy, sorry. It is right now 5.41 in the morning. I've been to bed. I didn't work yesterday, but I slept all day pretty much. And I even went back to sleep after making the video I released yesterday. So. I'm gonna kill all these bugs. still have a little bit more time and I want to kill these bugs for the bug quest. And since bug meat is apparently useful now to make bug steak. Which, wow, that's some good energy. That's crazy. Alright, so I think from now on I'm going to start harvesting bugs. All right, that's enough. Time to go. All right, at least we made it five floors down. That's honestly all that matters. And we got 23 copper, which is also all that matters. We got some progress. I really wish I had a glow ring. I think the bundles give you different stuff than they did last time, so I have no clue if I'll get a glow ring. I'm just waiting on a cauliflower so I can turn in another bundle. So I don't think I can do anything with the other ones. Let's let let's look. Crafts room. Sticky bundle. Oh, I didn't see this. 500 sap. Well, that's honestly kind of easy. Fall foraging. This one's going to be the tough one, honestly, because fiddlehead ferns I have no idea how to get. Summer foraging. The winter one's going to be... Ooh, they actually have the holly as a winter thing now. I don't think he had that last time. I think it was something else. I think it was like crystal fruit or something. And then for the pantry, brewer's bundle is going to be a tough one. The rare crops one's going to be easy. This one's always easy. This one might be a little difficult. I don't, I don't know how to get that. I know you can get squidding from those weird red flying eyeball things. That are, for some reason, called squid kids. No idea why. They don't look like squids and they don't look like a kid. So, kind of weird. I'm going to put some copper in here. Do I have any coal with me? No. Okay. Let's put all this stuff up. So 
since we're not we're not we're gonna go fishing tomorrow, so we'll put all this stuff up. Um, or this doesn't go in here. What am I doing? I'll take that, that, and the watering can, and I'll take this and this. Alright, time to go to bed. Maybe we'll get a level up. The cat is in the bed waiting. Level 3 farming. Ooh, bee houses now. Nice. A little bit of money. Green bean. One silver quality is only worth 50, so not much money on that part. But they continue to grow throughout the season, so. Alright, a new day. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Another very happy day, awesome. And we got more mail, and the cauliflower is ready over here, and yep, I was correct, this is all forageable stuff, which is still nice. This is Pierre. I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I am writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Nope, nope, thank you, I can make my own. I'm really glad you've become part of our community. I've enclosed a 500 gold check from the Stardew Valley Agriculture Fund to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Sincerely, m m Mr. Lewis. Did he just take pity on me and give me money? <laughs> what? That ain't how it works. I don't need it. I can make my own money. Alright, so, well, we're close to getting 2,000. You know what? I'll take it. Let's go ahead and pick all these. Before we do anything, let's see if there's any new stuff washed up on the beach. That's something I probably should check every day. Wow, lots of grass. I don't remember it being that big. Nope, nothing. That's fine. We'll grab we'll gather all these salmon berries while we're here. This a little forageable spot you can go to. A little fishing pond. You can't grow stuff on this part of the grass, so I think that's mainly for up there, but It'd be nice if that wasn't there, so you could, like, build a well. You'd, you'd have to build a well or something. That'd be cool. Yeah, this is the only spot you can put sprinklers down on this farm, I'm pretty sure. I know someone said not, any, you can't do it on sandy soils, and I was thinking, could you put sprinklers down on, like, tiles? Like, wooden tiles or something you place on the ground yourself? I have no idea if that's how if you could do that or not, but it'd be cool if you could. All right, let's go grab this copper. And some more berries. All right, foraging done. We'll keep these and these. We will, however, organize parsnip cauliflower, green bean, and a potato. And while we're at it, we'll take one of these. And do we have a gift we can give? Um, we do not. I don't have a gift I can give right now. So that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna save these for a big opening one day. You know, when I have a ton of them. All right, let's head into town. Oh, let's not head into town. Let's water the plants. And since we're just down to these, I'm not gonna worry about editing this part out. Instead, I guess I'll talk a little. My episodes, you know, I got, I got a lot of videos I've been making for Stardew Valley lately, and I do have other games I play, but honestly, 
I'm too busy to play all those games at once, and I'm honestly regret starting all of them. It was put ma I was mainly gonna do it as I make a video for a game I'm playing because I play a lot of games at once, as you can tell from all the different playlists I got, and I just record whatever I'm playing at the time. Well, I need to stop doing that, and I'm gonna focus on one game at a time this time, and that game is Stardew Valley right now. Because this is what I'm in the mood to play. It's relaxing, you know, not something I don't have to rush to do. I can just relax and play it. And I've been waiting for this update forever. So this is the only video I'm going to be making on my channel for a while. Is the is Stardew Valley. The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. My Time at Portia. Guard, uh, Graveyard Keeper. All them. Fate even. They're all going to be postponed. And the game I play after this will probably be one of those, so. Alright, new quest. Oh, oh yeah, we have to catch some- well, at least we're going fishing. This is Demetrius, an invasive crab species is living in the local mine, threatening the native wildlife. These creatures are known for disguising themselves as stones. I'll pay someone to slay four of them. I will try, but those things are, like, really hard to find. But I'll try. You know, that's- all you can do on those things. I hate trying to find those things. They're annoying. Oh yeah, I have to turn those bundles in. I'll get that in just a second. I'm gonna go turn this cog, this rusty cog into Gunther. No new reward, but that's fine. How's it going, Jazz? And I'll go turn these in, and then we'll head to the beach to go fishing, because we do need to catch some sardines for Willy. We could fish at our house, but Willy's closer to the beach down there, and we're already in town, so we might as well head down there and fish. Was it sardines? Yes. And then tomorrow, we'll go into the caves and try to find those rock crabs. Those really annoying and hard to find rock crabs. How's it going, little green gumdrops, toaster things? Alright, parsnip, green bean, cauliflower, and potatoes. Speed grow. I think that's the same reward. And we should open up a new one, which is the bulletin board and the furnace. Or maybe just the furnace. Yeah, it's just the furnace, I think. Which, you know, I'm not going to go all the way over there to see. We can just do this. Boiler room. Treasure hunter. Amethyst, topaz, emerald, diamond, ruby, and an aquamarine. Quartz, earth crystal, frozen tear, and fire quartz. Iridium ore. Battery pack, and three or five refined quartz that's that's actually seems like it's gonna be easier because I don't have to make all those I don't have to make a bar of each kind well you never had to make iridium so all right well neat now we can go fishing hopefully catch some sardines it shouldn't be too hard to catch those it'll be easy money if we catch them that's you know that's, it's not a for sure thing if we'll catch them or not And we will check the beach after we do the fishing. I want to get the fishing done before Willie leaves and I can't find him. Alright, time for fishing. Any minute now. There, oh, oh, seaweed, seaweed's still good. Still worth getting. Not what I need, though. There we go, a fish. Please be a sardine. Oops, oops, almost messed that one up. I'm used to it bolting up right away.
That is a herring. I remember when I needed one of those and it took two days to get it. So. I think that was in my last playthrough though. Don't remember. Come on. This is probably another herring. Nope. An anchovy. You know what? How much is the next rod? Ooh. Oh, fishing tanks? Fisher double bed? What? Oh my god. So you can get new style of beds. That's amazing. I knew they uh, he I knew he updated it to where you could move your bed. Obviously, I moved mine, but I didn't think he'd put new beds in. Another herring. Come on, Kingly needs a new um three pair. I need I need I need three of them. Come on, give me three sardines. Should just go buy a can of them. Luckily, Willie goes to the bar, so if I can't catch it, I'm hoping he goes to the bar by the time I do catch it, if it's too late. I'm not wrong, right? Sardines are in the beat. You know, they're ocean fish. I think. Oh, that bounced too much. Well, we might be letting Willie down today, which is, you know, not good. I got one of each quality of herring in my inventory right now, except iridium. You do get iridium fish. Yep, a common ocean fish. Common my butt. I wonder if having the quest activated, you know, makes them spare. A lot of games seem like they do that, even though it's probably not true. You know, when you get a quest for something, it seems like the rest of them disappear and you have to look forever for them. Sometimes it feels like that in games. I doubt it. But it's one of those feelings, it's one of those things like, you know, if you turn to the left while racing in a racing game, if you move around with your controller, it helps turn, or you press, mash the A button while catching Pokemon, you'll catch them faster. It's that kind of thing. Except a bad version, you know, it doesn't help at all. It, so, there's that. It just feels like it sometimes. Because when I was trying to catch herring, I had trouble catching herring. And now I'm catching nothing but herring. And anchovies. Can't forget the anchovies. Oh, there's Willie. Are you going to fish too? Good, at least I know where you're at. Wow, today is just the herring day. Oh well, it's not that much money. I was just wanting to do it to get his friendship up. Because doing the quest for them is a easy way to get their friendship up. I'm pretty sure it was sardines. Was it sardines? Yes, it was three sardines. I know the title for this video now. I understand on what this is making me... I understand what fate wants me to name this title. Or this video, sorry. And it's gonna happen. Oh my god. So many herring. 
Is that all? You well, you don't ever catch fish. You just you just let it sit there and never actually reel anything in. I have no words for what I have found. I've sold two, by the way, so I have... I, I have 12 hair. I've caught 12 today. Thirteen herring. Thirteen herring. Uh, at least we have all this fish to eat for stamina to catch the sardines that I need. Oh my god. What? What are you? You're not herring or anchovy. You're a flounder. I don't want a flounder, I want a sardine. I could have hunted crabs instead. <laughs> Willie, you better not go in your house. You better stay all night until midnight and fish with me. This is for you, man. I'm keeping the art of fishing alive by catching nothing but herring. And now flounders. Oh my god. I've used the whole stamina bar pretty much. Wait, wait, did I, did I water my crops? I think I watered my crops. 100% sure I watered my crops, never mind. That thought just came to me for some reason. Well, if I don't get a fishing level, at least I'm gonna be upset. Aw, oh, you, you kidding me? Going for it. Three, three sardines. Oh, wow. I'll take that. A diamond. Nice. And an amphibian fossil. This is your fault. This is something else, man. At least I would, I'd rather have seaweed. Give me seaweed if you're gonna mess with me. I'll be calling the video something different totally if it was seaweed. Oh my god. You're starting to feel exhausted. My mind has been broken. I've caught nothing but herring. I needed only three sardines and I've caught like a million herring already. And a butt. I caught a butt, flounder, some anchovies, and some herring, and some seaweed. Are you happy? A true, a true angler has respect for the water. Don't you forget that. I don't like you. I have no words. No words. I'm gonna collect my coral. And my clam. And be out on my way home. Alright. Well that was something. That, that was something else, wasn't it? Oh. An event. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Sounds like those raccoons are back again, filthy varmints. Ah, oh, you turned up at the right moment, son. 
Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you... Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. I don't know. Don't ask. It was me. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm wearing a trash can lid on my head, I understand. I find a lot of hot fresh food in these cans. Stuff that would go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Honestly, yes. Honestly, yes. I know I work at I work at a, you know a place that serves food, and I can tell you we get we throw a lot of food away. This is true, and this is true. But I like Linus, so I'm gonna be nice. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Kingly. I knew you were an open-minded person. Ever since I saw you wearing a trash can lid on your head, I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. It's okay, Santa Claus. I trust you. You can go home. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. He does look like he'd play, make a good Santa Claus. He he looks like an older version of Fred Flintstone though, because of the yellow shirt he's wearing. Or sorry, those are leaves. Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town going hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Good guy, Gus. One of my favorite characters as well. All right. Take these. I see that you didn't go in my inventory. I like how we just take their trash out of their trash can and take it with us. If you can't see me, I'm the glowing white circle walking around in the middle of the night. Or sorry, dark blue circle. Alright, anything to sell? Any silver quality? Alright, nice. Let's go to sleep. Cat, you would not believe my day. Foraging, nice. Fishing, I was about to say, <laughs> you better level me up in that. Good amount of money. Hey, we can upgrade something now. But hey, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Whoever watched my video, I really appreciate it. I have so much fun making these. And I know the name of this video and it's something stupid but it's gonna be the name of the video anyways have a good night have a good day wherever you are bye